The Ludla Model 2363 Gamma Neutron Survey Meter is an easy-to-use survey instrument capable of measuring both neutron and gamma radiation levels simultaneously, incorporating both analog and digital displays for maximum versatility. The Model 2363 also contains an internal energy-compensated Geiger-Muller detector for gamma measurements and uses the Model 42-41 Priscilla detector for neutron measurements. The Model 2363 can log up to 1,000 data points in non-volatile memory. Each data point consists of the sample number, a date time stamp, rate meter measurements of both neutron and gamma, integrated dose measurements of both neutron and gamma, and a location identifier consisting of up to 10 characters. Please note that the 2363 and Priscilla detector in this video are set for factory default settings. The 2363 uses two D-cell batteries with a typical battery lifetime of 200 hours. The weight of the Model 2363 with the Priscilla detector is about 9 pounds, which is a big improvement over the 18 pounds of our standard neutron detector. All of the controls for the Model 2363 are on the front of the instrument. When the meter alarm points are exceeded, the pertinent LED on the front panel will illuminate and the audio alarm will be activated. The alarms will continue until the reset toggle switch is depressed or until the integrated dose is zeroed. The Model 2363 comes with a CD that contains the computer interface software. This software is used to adjust the alarm settings and other parameters and to calibrate the instrument. It is intended for use by calibration laboratories and should not be used by typical users. The operator controls for the Model 2363 consists of a six-position rotary switch to select the analog meter range multipliers and check the battery status. When the switch is rotated to the bat position, the meter pointer should deflect above the left vertical mark, moving the range selector switch to one of the range multiplier positions, times 100, times 10, times 1, times 0.1, provides the operator with an overall measuring range of 0 to 1,000 mrem per hour. Multiply the scale reading by the multiplier to determine the actual reading. In this example, the range switch is on the times 10 setting and the meter is indicating 6. So, the actual reading is 6 multiplied by 10, which equals 60 mrem per hour. A liquid crystal display is a six-digit display that displays the count rate for the selected channel. A volume knob. Turning this control clockwise will increase the speaker volume and counterclockwise will decrease the volume. Note, in order to reduce the drain on the battery, the volume should be turned down when audio is not required. A dual position momentary toggle switch labeled Reset and Integrated Dose. When the reset position is selected, this switch provides a rapid means of driving the analog rate meter to zero. When the integrated dose position is selected, it reads out the integrated dose. A log push button. When pressed, the instrument stores the current readings into non-volatile memory. When the instrument is first turned on, the meter will be driven full scale for about two seconds and then it will return to zero. LCD will show a series of eights and colons, then will display the current sample number, and then zero. Quick Start Guide Rotate the range switch to the bat position. The meter pointer should deflect above the left vertical mark on the bat OK line. If not, replace the batteries and repeat the test. After passing the battery test, the instrument is ready for use. Adjust the three position N, N plus G, and G toggle switch to the desired position. Remember that while in the N position, the 2363 will only display readings from the Priscilla neutron detector. The N plus G setting will add the readings from the internal gamma detector and the Priscilla neutron detector together.
and the G setting will only display readings from the internal gamma detector. Turn the rotary range switch to the 0.1 position for maximum sensitivity or to the range that encompasses your decision level. Point the meter towards the suspected radioactive material and place the front of the detector as near as possible. When you are finished with your survey, turn the meter off. Remove the batteries if the meter is going to be stored for an extended period. That's all for the Model 2363 Meter and Priscilla Detector Overview and Quick Start Guide. If you have any questions or need more information, please contact Ludlum Measurements or your local Ludlum sales representative.